Hello everybody, this is Absolute Zero. Um, I'm trying to rekindle that old spark that I used to have for this game back when I played this game on Immortal and was a total noob. I like the name Monster Zuma. That's somebody's name on the forums. I think that was fitting. Um, I'm going to do this on Immortal because... I used to play this. I used to tell you the truth. I think I probably had more fun playing this game on Immortal than I did on Deity. Uh, the reason for that is because Deity tends to squeeze you into a certain style of play um, because of the difficulty and because a lot of things that you normally do be able to get away with on Immortal don't work. So you have to play the game in a certain type of way. After a while, it gets a little repetitive. Um, you know, always going for the lib race and all that kind of crap. I used to never do that stuff on Immortal. But um, anyway, I thought I'd play one of the uh, crappy char- well, not a crappy character, but uh, you know, not not the greatest character. He, he used to be one of my favorites, though. That's Mont Montezuma. And um, Montezuma is aggressive and spiritual. Um, I don't know. In this particular case, I'm not sure if I'd pick spiritual for what I'm going to do here or not. It's not bad traits. Uh, normally I'd say aggressive is crap, but in this case, for how we're going to play this game, aggressive is actually okay. Um, starting technologies are mysticism and hunting. Two pretty fun starting technologies, but uh, they actually kind of suck. Um, yeah, this is pretty much the, the worst starting tech combo I can think of. I don't know why both Montezuma and Boudica, two of the most fun characters to play, happen to have this horrible starting tech combo. Um, I don't think it's fair, but <laughs> for some reason all the good characters have the terrible starting techs. Um, the Sacrificial Altar <clears throat> is a um, courthouse with uh, that decreases anger from whipping by minus 50%. I say this is the best uh, unique building in the game. Too bad the Aztecs have it and no one else. Um, I think this is better than, you know, the Raytheos, the, uh, you know, barracks for the uh, Zulu. I say this is the best unique building in the game. Also cheaper than a regular courthouse by 30 hammers. Um, I think this also applies to drafting. So, I mean, basically the idea is you whip something and it takes um, uh, only half the amount of time for that anger to disappear. It's very, very noticeable when you're rushing. Very, very good. Like I said, too bad only the Aztecs have this unique building. Uh, the Jaguar is um, a five-strength swordsman that gets Woodsman 1, uh, costs five less hammers, and is resourceless. Normally, I would say this is a shitty unit, but for what we're doing, this is actually an okay unit. So, yeah, normally I wouldn't be too thrilled about that unit. And, hey. Hey. <laughs> I don't have a problem playing that start. Oh, I could have moved up and got double gold. <laughs> I don't know, double gold might have been overkill, though. All right, so yeah, why the hell not? So we're gonna go agriculture, and we're just gonna go mining, and all the way to uh, our unique unit. No, but we're not gonna do that, baby. No, no, no. Let's see, we're gonna get a warrior first, and we're gonna try to steal that first uh, worker if we can. Hopefully, we're fairly near to somebody who we can pick on. Oh, Hudson events are on. So, oh, right. We are near someone. Who is this? Oh, it's Suri. Okay, so he's probably got his stuff. We got his guys moving around there. Uh. I think I might get one more warrior out. So we're going to go somewhere around here. He's got to have his worker. I 
also my kill is scout so he doesn't steal any of my stuff. Aha! Well, there it is now. Oh, farmers, pray that your summers be wet and your winters clear. Okay, now I'm going to build my own... Build my own worker. got Justinian up there. Okay, so where else would he go? He can mine that if he wants. He might mine that. However, he's mining that. Can I get to him? I don't think I can get to him. No, I can't get to him. He's building a mine there, but eventually he'll build a mine there. I'm pretty sure about that. Looks like I pretty much lost lost the rest of the huts. I'm gonna put my points on. I think maybe Justinian, since I'm going to be attacking Surrey. Okay, so he's probably probably moved over here. Probably moving there next, I assume. That's what he's doing. One would assume that. No. Hmm. Oh, damn it. Might take a little while to get that guy. Oh. I'll take that. Oh, nice. It's very nice. You know what? That means I don't have to dink around at all. I could take his guys all day. I got a Woodsman 2 guy now. The man who moves a mountain begins by carrying away Perfect. small stones. Okay, I don't need to dink around now. Alright, well... <clears throat> Let's just hope. I don't think, uh, looking at his territory, there's no way he has, um, there's no way he has any, um, uh, no way he has any horses in there, so I don't have to worry about him getting, uh, getting chariots or anything like that. And I'm going, I'm actually heading straight for my unique unit, That's what I'm doing here. see his dude. Doesn't really matter at this... Ah, oh, there he is. There he is. I thought so. Gotcha. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Well, he's attacking over a river. Hopefully, we're at least even there, but it's possible he might just kill me. So, I'm going to put this guy here to try and distract him. Uh, okay, I think I did... Yeah. Fair enough. Cool. And now I got this guy here, which should be able to steal a worker from him every time he gets one. So we'll go ahead and withdraw there. I think I'll put this guy back in my base. There's his second city. Okay, I'm just going to stick right there. And between that guy and my scout, I should be able to see if he gets another worker. I know he wants to improve that. So if I just watch that, I should be okay. Put him right there. Uh, it's kind of difficult because uh, sometimes sometimes an AI will build a worker, and if you're like right on his border, he won't move his worker because he can see you, and he knows you can see him. So... Uh, it's, it's kind of... It's kind of confusing as to how it actually works, but I think I think if he can see you, yeah, I don't know. 
Um, so sometimes, like, I'll plant, uh, I'll plant, like, a guy, like, right on the edge of his border, and he won't move his worker out of his, out of his, um, uh, base, and then other times he will. It's, it seems kind of arbitrary, but anyway, I'm moving this guy here because I don't want to spook him at all. I want him to try and improve that so I can steal another worker from him. I was hoping to steal all my workers, but it didn't exactly work out that way. You know, sometimes you can do that. It's easier on the slower speeds, much easier. Looks like we got a dude down there. Plant this guy right here so I can see stuff. <clears throat> Right. Take a little something. Oh, sir, he gets his umpteenth quarter pop. He no, didn't found a religion either. That's no, just him. Um. Should I build a barracks or another warrior? Maybe another warrior. Cool. We can go take a peek in here, see what's see what he's up to here. Three archers. Okay, that's it. Okay, so he's dinking around. And these guys, I think, should go and prove that. Oh, no. That stupid-ass scout is gonna, <laughs> gonna drag that barbarian in my borders. Oh, okay. Phew. Taking a little peek around. Um, I think I'm going to farm some stuff over here. Can't mine anything else, huh? Okay. It is entirely seemly for a young man killed in battle to lie mangled by the bronze spear. In his death, oh, nice. all things appear fair. So we do have copper. That actually means, well, I don't think we can upgrade these guys, but... Well, actually, we could. We could upgrade this guy to an axe. Yeah, let's go for it! What the hell? Oh, wait, no. We can't... Okay, we don't have that uh, hooked up. That's the problem. See here, what do we got? Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh wow, there's some more some more uh copper right there. Wow. Um, I think uh man, this is some rich territory, isn't it? Really rich territory. Um, maybe settling right there. Why the hell not? I don't see a problem with that. We don't need to grow to any si any bigger size just yet. Ah, he's got a worker. Um, where do I think he's going with that? I think he's probably going up there. I'm going to stick here and see if he moves it. Let's see what he does. Okay, he didn't move it. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to go all the way out of his territory here. Um, eight turns for a settler. <coughs> Thirteen turns for iron. 
Oh, wait a minute. I can chop that guy, can't I? I don't know if there's any point to doing that just yet. Let's go ahead and take a shot from that guy. Cool. Okay, nobody's over here yet. I'm going to go ahead and chop that. see anything over there. Suri finally gets uh, bronze working. So it means, okay, I don't see any copper for him though, so it's too bad for him. He doesn't have any. Oh, this is why I love creative guys. This guy would take, you know, very, very little time to get to his next uh, promotion. Um, if he, if I were, uh, uh, not creative, charismatic. If I were charismatic. But I'm not, so it takes a while. Uh, excuse me. Suri, you silly man. We go we got another dude <clears throat> I'm gonna go mine that gold mine over there even if he does get chariots it won't help him at this point Stonehenge barracks? I don't know. I was thinking maybe Stonehenge for the fail gold or something. I get an iron working in four. I don't need to do that. Stonehenge for the fail gold. up to something. Okay, so his worker is gone. Probably building a road. I'm going to stay here. I only move one tile per turn. That way I don't spook him. I can crap the worker. You should hammer your right. iron when it is glowing hot. Okay, so he's built that far. I'm betting he's right there. Probably a pretty good bet. He's right there, I'm guessing. <clears throat> okay, going for the wheel. The Jaguar. Jaguar. Got a worker somewhere. Where is that worker? I'm gonna do some more farming over here. It's a settler. Ah, there they are. Pulling 
the road. Oh, he's got another city down there. That's it. Well, like I said, it doesn't matter. Get a Jaguar out here and I'll be Put rolling. your shoulder to the wheel. Oh, uh, yes. Awesome. So, too late for chariots. I'm unstoppable now. Stonehenge is built, but I wonder if I can oracle it. I would love to get the oracle. Oh, you know what? I forgot. I, I need to chop some stuff. Oh, well. Yes. Now this is what jaguars are good for if they're good for anything, which I don't know. It's a debatable <laughs> whether or not they're good for anything. But um, if they're good for something, they're good for what I'm doing here. Um, let's see here. Do we have? Uh, oh, we don't have that hooked up. Okay. Yeah. Let's go ahead. And, let's go ahead and do this. Wait, how long did that take? Five turns? Yeah, let's do that. Um, I think I'll go ahead and just start chopping something over here. I'm going to go let it, ahead and let him plant that. I mean, I'll let him plant the cities and I'll take him. So that's fine with me that he's going to get that spot. Take him and take the workers, too. Isn't this fun? This is way funner than playing on Deity, let me tell you. <laughs> I'm not sure how many archers are in there. If there's too many archers in there, he might take a pot shot at me and kill me. So I don't want to lose those workers, so I'm going to avoid that. Sometimes when they stack too many guys in one city, they'll just, you know, bum rush you. So, like I said, I want to avoid that. Lucky weird. Bonawati. Bonawati. Uh, these guys I can upgrade later, so they're not wasted. Meditation brings wisdom. Lack of meditation Damn, leaves right. ignorance. No well what leads you forward. Now these guys are just to harass him, basically. I have no other use for these guys than just harassment. Um, they don't actually excel at taking cities is the problem. <clears throat> Okay. Now this is good. The, the, the reason that the reason I did that, it was 68%, but I took the chance. The reason I took that chance is because now I can make him Woodsman 3, which means I can pick our archers off all day in the forest because that negates the forest defense. So um, that's excellent. That's my, very excellent. In fact, I'm going to do the same for this guy. <clears throat> that's that's what these guys are good for if they're good for anything they're okay for uh, running around picking off guys in forests because w if they get to woodsman three um but you know again that's not really saying too much <laughs> um but they're useful for something at least And tell you the truth, uh, for this um, 
this difficulty level, Suribon's not doing that bad. He's got four cities by 1760 BC, and that's with me beating his ass. Now, one thing I do have to watch out for is if he is... Well, actually, chariots don't really matter. Chariots don't really matter. Uh, now that I have... Um, now that I have Jaguars, chariots really don't matter at all. And I've almost got the Oracle. I think. I think I should be able to get the Oracle. I'm, I forget what time it goes on uh, Immortal, but I should probably be able to get it with a fair degree of ease. Shouldn't be that hard. Okay, so I think three... Let's see, four Jaguars should do it. I should be able to suppress him fairly easy with four Jags. <clears throat> the rest of these guys I'm going to put on here. We'll upgrade them at some point when I start taking cities. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Uh-oh. 85% chance. I blew it. I blew it! Oh well, we should be able to get this guy. <laughs> Oops. Um, let's see here. We've got... Okay, we're at max there. So we should be doing this. We're just about to build the Oracle anyway. I'm going to go road into our friend Gilgamesh over here. I can't believe I... Oh, I don't have writing yet. Okay. Never mind. Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Good. Okay. I'm back to uh, Woodsman 3, dude. Fully healed this time. <clears throat> quicker. Oh, you know what? I could chop there. I could chop there. Where are my other guys? I could chop the oracle right there. I don't need to build it right here, do I? Actually, you know what? Building it right here would be better. I've got better I've got better food. I've got better food. I could go for, go for like a great scientist or something like that. So I might as well do it here. Damn good spots, by the way. <coughs> I'm going to go ahead and make a settler and settle this spot over here. That's probably going to be the last spot I settle. The rest are going to be Surrey cities. Oh yeah, baby, watch this. 97% chance to take this guy. Oh, well, looks like I'm not going to be building the Oracle. Okay, never mind that. Well. Well. Well then. Excellent. So, it took, took a little too long getting the Oracle, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to 
chop that. Oh, that's right. Let's see here. I think I'll settle. I think I'll settle like right, right here. Maybe right here wouldn't be a bad spot. I'm going to start taking cities with these guys since I lost the Oracle. So we're going to start pr promoting some of them to... Oops. Ah. I'm going to start promoting some of them to... Um... Start promoting some of them to city raider. City raider. <clears throat> oh, I just realized he just settled on freaking iron. Does he have iron yet? Realize he's settled on iron. Duh. Okay, I've got to take that city away from him. If I don't, he's gonna he's gonna get something. He's gonna get axes, which will totally screw my whole plan. So we better get down there. We better get down there. True glory consists in doing what deserves to be written. Might as well make out an axe or so. What deserves to be read. with everybody. I'm gonna go I'm gonna self tech code of laws, what the hell? I don't know if anybody will get alpha. I'm sure for somebody you'll probably get alpha by then. Can I trade something for happiness? No. Okay. So it doesn't look like, unless he has sailing, which he might, it doesn't look like he's got this hooked up. <clears throat> that's, that's my big fear, is if he has sailing. So it's only got one pop, but I'm going to have to totally destroy it.
Okay, so we're gonna go up here for our next settle spot. I think I'm gonna build a library up here. all our dudes. <laughs> Gonna go send those guys up there and make sure he doesn't get that damn iron, which is over there. With one more border pop, he can get it. Hopefully he's not too close. Okay, we're gonna go get a damn dude over there. Oh, crap. I didn't notice that guy. This place is looking even better. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and whip that library because we're getting up there and pop them, so. Okay, it doesn't look like he got the border pop, so we're good. Cool. Oh, I, oh, I don't have animal husbandry. I forgot about that. Whoopsie. Excellent. Got a couple more workers, too. Gonna need a lot of workers to pull this off. Um, Byzantines? I don't know. <clears throat> it's not a bad idea, but it's a little early, I think, for a conversion. in revolt he got he got an unlucky revolt there boy and i got a lot of workers now man i got nine workers for four cities that's actually pretty good maybe a little much i don't know maybe a little much I'm going to 
go ahead and do that. I think I'll go ahead and mine that. So the only thing that worries me is metal. I don't. I'm not worried about chariots. Chariots aren't a problem. Oh, and look at that, he just got a border pop, but uh, that was just, that just happened now, so I don't have to worry about it for a while. Versus regular archers, axemen aren't actually any better than jaguars. So I'm just going to stick this guy over here just in case he gets an axeman. Somehow. I know I almost have too many workers now. So I'm going to start playing games. I really don't need all these workers. Believe it or not. So what I do is I usually try and bait them out. this guy. Usually try and bait him out with a worker. What the hell? Where'd that guy come from? dudes just show up and you don't know where they came from. I don't remember seeing that guy anywhere. Ah, good. Let's see if we can get him to go over here. over the place. Oh, someone got to Confucianism? Be second there. Right. It's very easy to make a super medic with these guys. I don't have any reason for that. Um, let me go ahead and let me go ahead and try and bait him out over here. He might take an archer and try and get that guy. Good, 
already. Spreading, spreading his religion. That's nice. I don't really need to do that. Alright, now that's a super medic right there. That was pretty easy. Yes. Twenty nine per cent. Yeah. Got to stick that guy right there and just sit there. I got in there. Um, I think this might actually be a good, um, a good like cottage capital. So I'm gonna go ahead and go for that. Okay, so he got me. There we go. <laughs> uh, these two guys, like I said, these two guys can be promoted at some point, so I'm going to head them back off over here to sit on some cities. wondering whether or not to go to construction to totally wipe him out or not. Probably not. I don't think I need it. I got four cities. I could probably take him now. something or maybe right there get that that isn't a, isn't a great spot but it isn't a terrible spot either <clears throat> excuse me once I get uh, pottery cottages should be okay right there
just gonna start making a little trail in there so I can road in. Road up. That's that's a great thing. You, you never have enough roads and quick enough roads usually, but um, thanks to all this, all these workers, I can road in pretty quickly. 